More federal help is in the works, but it may not be exactly what Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher is hoping for. Today, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was at Norton Brownsboro Hospital in the East End, thanking health care workers and touting the CARES Act. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams was there. He has insight in that in what may be the next federal age packet package. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said a sign that things are starting to get back to normal was being able to have an in-person news conference here at Norton today. It was the first time he'd done one in Louisville since early March. So it's good to get out of the house and uh, good to get out of Washington. An open air news conference, mask in hand when social distancing, was the prescription from hospital officials who thanked the Senate Majority Leader for a $43 million dose of financial medicine when they needed it most. That CARES Act funding, they said, helped them keep everyone employed even as they awaited permission from Governor Andy Bashir to resume elective surgeries. Leader McConnell thanked those on the front line and talked about balancing getting life back to normal. So I want to encourage everybody in Kentucky, now that things are beginning to go up, uh, open up, to be brave enough to go out, be smart enough to go out safely by wearing a mask and practicing social distancing. And if you're in a certain age group and have certain pre-existing conditions, maybe you ought not to be going out. And in describing an unusual time in D.C. where Congress pivoted from partisan impeachment to bipartisan passage of that aid package, he admitted that mistakes were made, like the unemployment bonus he says he's hurting small businesses. The next spending plan, he said, will tackle mistakes and include crisis liability protection for health care, small businesses, and universities. But it'll be very carefully crafted. It won't be three trillion dollar left wing wish list like the House cobbled together the other day. The Senate Majority Leader made it clear any money to cities and counties will not be to bail them out for problems from before the coronavirus. And Norton Brownsboro, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.